So you want to know if you should get Season of Arrivals? Quick answer, yes you should. Hey guys, I'm Arctic Fox, and we're going to dive deeper into the current season and see if it is still worth buying. Here we are on September 5th, 2020. Normally the season would have ended, but with the current pandemic, we're approximately two months away from the new expansion, Beyond Light, that releases on November 10th of this year. And that is the first reason to still jump into this season. There's still two months left. That's a ton of time. Normally, you have three months with the content being sprinkled throughout the season, but yet we still have another two months, and here we are three months later. The next reason is the amount of quality content that is still playable, starting with the Prophecy Dungeon. This is being touted as one of the best and most refreshing pieces of content Bungie has brought to the game in quite some time. This will go away next season, but only for a brief amount of time. If you are into the lore and story Destiny has to offer, the rotating interference missions have a pretty good story to tell, the lore cards that drop from them are also very intriguing. The missions themselves are okay, but hey, at least you get a pinnacle drop from them, so that's a plus. The Contact Public Event is a much needed improvement from last season's Seraph Towers. The event itself is fun and fresh, but doles out over time. It is the same each week, but has three different bosses that rotate out weekly. If you need help completing these, you can see my three videos covering this in the top right of the screen now. Everyone's favorite part of the season tends to be the exotics. This season we have already seen Wither Horde, a super fun kinetic grenade launcher that shoots blights that do damage over time. This is obtained via the season pass. Then we got Ruinous Effigy, an extremely unique and fun to use trace rifle. This weapon turns your enemies into void transmutation spheres. You can then slam these spheres to deal damage or defend yourself by putting up a shield that damages enemies as they walk into it. This weapon's quest is located in the tower by the Drifter at the Prismatic Recaster. The final exotic of this season has yet to be released. The Traveler's Chosen is a kinetic sidearm. Final blows with this weapon grant stacks of gathering light. When you consume the stacks, you'll be granted with melee, grenade, and class ability energy. Also, each stack of gathering light will improve the weapon's reload, handling, and target acquisition. This thing has the potential to be an absolute monster. All of this information can be found on light.gg. This weapon will be obtained via an exotic quest as we depart all of the planets that are being evacuated later this season. An additional event to this season due to the delay is Festival of the Lost. This is the annual Halloween event somewhat similar to Solstice of Heroes. Umbral Ingrams are the meat and potatoes of this season's content. You get Umbral Ingrams and go to the Prismatic Recaster, focus the Ingrams into a 50% chance of getting the certain weapon you want. With all of the weapons being sunset, this was a great idea by Bungie. The best part of this is not only being able to focus on certain weapons, but this brought some great weapons back to life, like Gnawing Hunger, and one of the best swords in the game, Fallen Guillotine. This is one of the easiest ways to obtain the weapons that you want along with their god rolls. Now that I've preached about all of the good things with this season, let's look at all the flaws. Coming into this season now, I do not believe you would be able to obtain all of the lore for this season as it's tied to the weekly completions of the interference missions, and after we get through all of these lore pieces, I don't know if Bungie will repeat them. You've basically missed the entire Solstice of Heroes event. There are only a few days left, which is plenty of time to get a full set of armor on at least one character. If you take the entire day, you could even grind out all three characters. There have already been two Iron Banner events this season. I'm sure there will be more opportunities to play and earn the two Iron Banner exclusive weapons, Forward Path, an Auto Rifle, Fool's Remedy, a Sidearm. On top of the weapons, there's exclusive armor that you can also earn. On reset next week, Tuesday the 8th, Iron Banner will be back. But after this one, we have no information on if it will return the rest of the season. In my opinion, there is still plenty of time to play this content. 
this content is still worth buying, even though you basically missed out on all of Solstice of Heroes. If you can look past that, I strongly recommend getting into this season and prepping for Beyond Light. Let me know down in the comments if you plan to get this season and what your thoughts of this season are if you already have it. If you would like to see more Destiny 2 content like this, consider subscribing. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like as it helps out my channel tremendously. If you have any questions over this or any Destiny 2 content, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at ArcticFoxGaming. The link is in the description below. Until next time, Guardians, stay frosty.